Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.4 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week, we travel to Birmingham to see the opening week of Son of a Preacher Man, the Dusty Springfield musical tour for 2017-2018. The Preacher Man was the 60s Soho joint where the kids danced the night away whilst the owner dispensed advice to cure lonely hearts. This bizarre and often confusing premise is the subject of a new Dusty Songbook musical. Let's save time. This show is simply an insult to Springfield's legacy. They couldn't have done a better job of abusing Dusty's genius hits with such tawdry contempt. With substandard, at times painful vocals, an uninspiring and repetitive set, dizzying choreography, a tortuous script and hideous staging, there's little to save this turkey. The show should have been sponsored by Pickford's, as far as I'm concerned. 2.5 hours of cast members messily moving the same three chairs and tables in rotation. Ugh, oy vey. It's basically three love affairs bubbling in a Mamma Mia style with dusty hits shamelessly crowbarred in. It's nights like this that you dream of a power cut. SOAPM, as we like to call it, has direction and choreography by Craig Revel Horwood. He should be ashamed. It looks like he created this disaster during the opening credits of Strictly on the back of a beer mat. No effort, precision or discipline whatsoever. I've seen more energy at a care home Christmas party than the finale medley. I actually hated it and felt furious. That's rare. More importantly, I was offended by the arrogance of this production to use Dusty's name to sell tickets in reward for such effortless crap. The audience were regularly left confused and offered silence whilst the cast waited for applause. There's nothing more depressing in a theatre. The only glimmer of hope was down Vickers' voice. She's no hoffer, but she certainly stole the show with a wonderful voice and did justice to Dusty's magnificent songbook and felt well cast. A delicious talent. The show is a travesty on equal part with the last dusty nonsense in the West End two years ago. Unforgivable abuse of the memory of such a unique and brilliant talent. You can get tickets by googling Son of a Preacher Man tour and you can catch the tour through 2018. The show also stars Deborah Stevenson and Ian Reddington. I wanted to love them, but I didn't. Nobody in the cast really shone, truly. There was certainly no 11 o'clock moment, heart, emotion or LOL liners. I should have gone to Specsavers sums up the depth of this tortuous script. It was a nice attempt to use musicians as actors, vocalists, but sadly, everyone just looked average and at times the show looked and felt amdram. Nothing else to say about this show. I think I've said it all. A total waste of an evening and a betrayal of the memory of the stunning Dusty Springfield. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.5 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!